Lions are the most social of all wildcat species and the only one to live in groups or prides. But as would naturally happen in the wild, the male is temporarily kept away from his offspring until they are robust enough to be introduced to each other. All right, so this is where he is at the moment. And he's definitely locked in. He's definitely locked in, yeah. yeah. He's somewhat impatiently waiting for his dinner. So for now, the way to Shanto's heart is through his stomach. Hey Shanto, are you ready for dinner? Huh? Oh, you're a good boy. That's... Good boy. Oh God, he's huge, isn't he? He's a big boy, all right. He's got a fantastic mane. He's just, he's very impressive. So when is Daddy going to finally meet his offspring? Uh, pretty soon, but we would just like him to visually see the cubs before we put them back together, you know, to not give him a terrible surprise when he comes back out and he's like, what, I, there's just two girls before and now there's all these babies everywhere. These guys are incredibly endangered. There's less than 500 left in the wild. So we definitely need to have a backup plan. It's pretty incredible, isn't it? It is, yeah. We're very lucky. It's amazing to see. Shanto, Fota's male line, recently became the father of three healthy cubs with mum Gera. But he is now making a beeline for her sister Gita, who has come into season. They've shacked up in one of the reinforced steel cages, away from the public. Wow! And they only have eyes for each other. Gita! And just get her eye contact. Gita! Hi! Unfortunately, love trumps hunger in this instance. It's been a good two, three days now since they've eaten. In the wild, they'd go days without food anyway, so this is not a hardship for them by any you know, means, so they're, they're well able to go a few days, and he thinks it's worthwhile. <laughs> He's just very much focused on Gita. He will just stick by her side, focused on her, be aggressive towards anyone or anything that comes near her. For a couple of days now, that's basically all it's going to be about is him being by her side and whenever she gives the green light, mating her. <laughs> Once she comes out of season, then we basically have to wait another month to find out if she's pregnant or not. So luckily, you know, cats have a short gestation period, like a domestic cat, so you're, you know, you're not looking at too long to find out. Shanto is missing out on family time with his cubs, who are really starting to come into themselves. We've got three happy, healthy cubs. So, you know, there's not much more that you could ask for. These guys will stay with us until they're about two years of age. That's naturally where they would stay with mum. But until then, we just get to enjoy watching them grow up. They were supposed to meet their daddy today, but unfortunately, um, in a cruel twist of fate, he's uh, decided to fall in love with her sister. In Fota's Asian sanctuary, male line Shanto has finally settled down with his offspring. Kelly, how proud are you of your Asian pride? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty proud. We, uh, I mean, I didn't do much. They did all the work. 
but uh, it's absolutely a blessing um, to see them here. It's a great privilege to have been so successful with them. The male came to us separate to the females. They'd never met, so there's no guarantee that they're going to get on. Gira was an incredibly good mother. We were very lucky. She kept sister and dad at a little bit of a distance until she felt that the cubs were robust enough. And then she was like, OK, you know what? It's time for some babysitters to get involved. Dad and sister have both proven to be, you know, really good support teams. You'll see the cubs climbing all over dad and he just accepts it and allows it. And it's absolutely wonderful to see. But after Chantel's little fling with Gita, the family is about to get even bigger. Gita is pregnant at the moment. The other sister, it could throw a little cat amongst the pigeons, so to speak. We're hoping that, you know, because they have such a great sisterly bond, that it won't be a problem. But obviously introducing new cubs, there's always a risk. Obviously, you know, we can't really do an ultrasound or anything. Behaviour is one of the main ways that we can tell because we get much more prominent nipples and um, because obviously everything is preparing for the arrival of cubs. She kind of separates herself a little bit from the group, just a little bit to the fringes, but still within the, the pride, which is nice to see. Three years ago, the Asiatic lines were brought to FOTA specifically to start up a breeding programme. It couldn't have gone better as the three lion cubs born in 2017 are now enjoying their teenage years. But are they about to be challenged in the cuteness stakes? We've been super lucky with our lions. We had the three beautiful cubs and um, we now have four new babies. For first time moms, to have such big litters is incredible, we couldn't ask for better. And it was quite a complicated birth and you were hands off, but what happened? When we first saw them on the camera, we could only see three wiggling and we still thought three was a great number. And then um, she pops outside to eat and we could see then on the camera when she got up that there was actually five. We could instantly tell that one, unfortunately, was deceased. The other one was moving um, and was fine. You know, to have had five was incredible. Um, so to have four healthy ones out of that is amazing. We're very lucky. And they're days old? Yes. Yeah. What are you Wiggly. observing? So they stay usually in a pile together. They stay together for warmth and safety. Uh, that does look incredibly adorable um, because they'll have arms on top of each other and heads on each other and uh, it just looks like a beautiful little bond but mostly it's a big pile of beige. <laughs> so what's the secret to your success? Um, I'm probably going to have to say Shanto. <laughs> <laughs> um, he obviously knows you know what he's doing and the two girls obviously like him and um, so they're just a happy bunch. You know, it's just, it's hard to tell. It's just um, good luck that they do seem to have gotten on. Uh, because the girls were young when they came to us, there, there was a chance that we could be waiting years. So we have been incredibly fortunate. Um, you know, we're up to 10 lions now, which is amazing. Mm -hmm.